hi guys you're welcome back to this channel so today we're going to learn how to make a victorian style ball dress for kids and you can use this to also you know make something very nice for adults so let's get started so we're going to be needing our basic bodice pattern our basic sleeve pattern and um your full circle pattern so i have my basic bodies already cut out here which is the same process for drafting a basic bodies for an adult it's the same thing okay so um all you do is you measure the half length for the child then the neckline i use 2.5 by 2.5 inch then this is the for the shoulder slants i came down by half inch instead of the normal one inch for adults okay and the center front is on fold and then the bodies for the ch um, children dresses do not have boss darts, okay? And it doesn't have that either, okay? So this is the back pattern here with the zipper allowance, okay? And um, you'll be adding seam allowance to the neckline and the shoulder slant. So if you don't have to touch the basic bodies, I'll be dropping the link in the description box. You can watch the previous tutorial on how I did that, okay? But it's the same process. Then for the lining inside, you're going to be cutting a full circle. So how do you cut a full circle? You divide the waist circumference by 6.28. I've done a tutorial on how to cut a full circle. Okay. I will drop the link in the description box too. Then um, for the lower part of the dress, what you're going to do is you are going to remove the length of the bodies from the total length of the dress. Okay, so if this is the length of my bodies, then from here downward will be the mini length of the dress. Okay, so it depends on the length you're working with. Then, of course, the width of this would be three or four times the waist circumference. So, this is about three yards, which is about um, four times this child's waist circumference measurements. Okay, so it depends, but don't make it more than times four so that it won't be too bulky. Okay so um for this i'm going to be running gathers on one side of the fabric and putting crinoline on the other side so and then i have my hard net already cut out here so for the hard net i have about two yards of hard net and i cut out um six inches for the width and then the length you just cut out you know cut it out into short pieces Okay, but this is two yards in total. Now, let us start with the sewing tutorial. It's really pretty simple. Now, for the bodies, we start with the bodies. So, you're going to be joining the front and back bodies together at the shoulder. So, this is the front. Then, um, I'll place the back like so, shoulder to shoulder. And you know, velvet is a stretchy um, fabric, so you have to pin. Okay, even when you're working with normal cutting fabric, you still have to pin so that everything will align properly. So I've pinned it together. So I'm joining the front and back together at the shoulder, and I'll repeat the same process for my lining. Okay, so I'm going to join the other side now. That's the other back piece to the shoulder of the front piece. Okay, so now that I've joined the front and back together at the shoulder, I've done the same thing for my lining. 
so i'll go ahead to turn the neckline of the bodice with half an inch seam allowance okay so i finished turning it and this is how it's going to look like here can you see so make sure you're working with pins velvet stretches the pins will help you put the fabric in place okay so um now we are going to work on the skirts so this is the lining of my skirt but the, for the lining i'm going to be having two full circles but this is the first line in here and um, i've already marked um where i want to place my hard nets okay so from here i measured four inches so for each of the line I have four inch interval and i marked four inch round okay so um the hard net that we cut out okay i'm going to place it starting from the first layer there which is um the waistline okay and the net is six inches wide okay so that means um the width of the length is longer than and the markings we made that's the four, four inches mark okay so i'll just place my net on you know the waistline there and then make sure you don't start from the zipper allowance so that when you want to fit your zip you know that part will not be too bulky so then you begin to create your pleats or your ruches okay so just watch you can see what i'm doing i'm creating um plates like that so that's what i'll continue doing okay when i finish the first layer i'll go to the second layer where i have the marking the third one like that and we're going to have something like this so if you're not satisfied or you have you still have more hardness you can still add you know more ruffles to the inner layer the inner space okay to have more layers depending but this is just fine Okay, so that the dress is not too bulky. So this is what the um, lining will look like. Now let's work on the velvet. We are going to be attaching the crinoline. line. Okay, so to attach the crinoline, line, you are going to, you know, the two loose ends of the velvet. Okay, you just sew it up to like four inches. Okay, then um, this is going to be the hemline here okay so on the hemline you're going to place the crinoline line there on the hemline on the right side then you'd have used bias tape to tape the edge of the crinoline line so that it doesn't you know make the child uncomfortable so you place the crinoline line on the right side of the fabric and stitch it down with half an inch so you just stitch it round if this is your first time you can use pins to secure the um, cranial line okay so by the time you get to the other end okay you would have you know cut out the cranial line where the thing stops and then you should make it um overlap your cranial line should overlap you know the uh, the starting point can you see what i'm saying then you should also use your bias tape to tape it round Okay, so this way, even if it comes in contact with the skin, it's not going to cause any form of an irritation. So, I'll just complete the sewing like this. So, once you're done with this, you flip over the crinoline line to um, the wrong side of the fabric. I'm just trimming off um, my threads okay okay so you have to flip over the cleaning line to the wrong side like this okay then make sure you push the cleaning line you know till it gets to the edge there then you're gonna stitch on the wrong side here at the edge of the cleaning line okay you just have to do it very gently and thank God this is a rectangle, it's not a curve where you have to, you know, sew it to align with the curve of the circle. This one is a rectangle, so it makes it very easy.
Okay, so after sewing, this is what you're going to have here. Can you see? So, we're done with the hemline. Now, for the top part, what you want to do now is you are going to run a gather stitch. You can use your machine and you can use um, hand gathering with needle and thread. You're going to gather this back to the child's waist circumference measurements. And please do not gather the zip allowance part so that it doesn't stress you why you want to fix the zipper. So this is what you're going to be having here. Okay. All right. And then um, this is my bodice. So I'll go ahead to join side seam together. Front and back together with one inch seam allowance on the fabric. Same thing on the lining. So this is what you're going to be having here okay yeah next thing you're going to be attaching the velvet that's the skirt now to the fabric which is the velvet on the bodice okay so you attach it then for the lining okay okay let me attach the velvet for so this is it i've attached the velvet to the bodice it's not remaining the lining okay so for the lining you're going to be having uh, the lining with the hard net first, okay, which is this, but you don't want the hard net to come in contact directly with the velvet. So there will be another lining on top like this, okay. So these two are going to be acting together as lining. You attach this to the lining of the bodies, okay. I hope um, that explanation is clear but the hard net is supposed to be facing the velvet you get it so what you do now is the satin is supposed to be the one that will be under and then the hard net will be on top yeah this is the right arrangement because it's the hard net that will push out the velvet so i'll go ahead to attach this to my um body that's the lining okay so this is what we're going to be having here so once you do this, this is the fabric, then the first line and the second line. This is the inside. Okay, it's pretty simple. And then you go ahead to sew the center back, but you still leave some space for your zipper. Okay, so after the um, half length, you should leave about five or six inches, you know, downwards for the zipper like this. And then you stitch the center back. Okay. All right. So let us go to the making of the sleeve. Now for the sleeve, uh, we're not doing a regular basic sleeve. We're doing a leg of mutton sleeve. I've done a tutorial on how to draft a leg of mutton sleeve. I'll be dropping the link in the description box. Just check it out. Okay. So this is my leg of mutton sleeve here. And then I will transfer it to my fabric. Okay. So for the sleeve, I don't want it to be too plain. So now for the leg of mutton sleeve, you have excess on the armhole. So you have to gather it back to the armhole circumference measurements. Then um, for the hemline here, you roll it. You can give it the real hem. After doing that, I'll be adding my trimming to the slit opening. Okay. So here, I've attached my sleeve. Okay. This is the trimming. And um, of course... The leg of mutton sleeve has gathers at the top part because of the excess on the armhole. So I'll go ahead to attach my zipper. Then I'll show us how to make the neck piece. So for the neck piece, I use two different um, fabric. A lace fabric, very light lace fabric, and two. Okay? So the tool is the same thing as your veil net. So what you're going to do now, you're going to be cutting out three layers. Okay? So the first layer is... um the two then the second and third layer is going to be the lace fabric but the lace is really light like it's a lightweight um lace fabric so the width of this now is going to be the child's neck circumference you have to measure it the neck circumference not on the dress did you measure the person's neck you measure it okay and then two times three or four then the width for this first one is about six Okay, then the second one is about four inch, and then the two is the longest. This is about seven point five or thereabouts. 
okay so but the width is four times or three times the width circumference so you're going to be running a gather stitch at the middle of each of these pieces at the middle please so here at the middle of each of these you're going to run a gather stitch okay and then you gather it back to the child's um, neck circumference and plus extra one inch for allowance for hook because it's going to be having a hook okay or you can attach um maybe a ribbon or something at the back so like i said you're going to gather the center like that okay on all the pieces so if you want more fullness you can do times five but i did times four which is is fair enough okay so after gathering this is what you're going to be having here my three layers so what you do is you're going to place all three layers on top of each other so you can see that the first one is wider than the second one and of course the third one is um the least in terms of the width but the fullness is the same thing okay so i'm just you know trying to take out the threads so here i've placed all three pieces together so i'll go ahead and run a stitch at the middle to hold all three together okay it, your permanent stitch then um you can choose any trimming of your choice to like cover the um, seam and still sew it okay and that's all you can attach a hook to the back or a ribbon to tights so this is the outcome of the dress it's really lovely something different from the usual ball dresses that we are used to do which is a normal cliche okay so if this tutorial is helpful you can leave your comment if you want me to make more tutorials on ball dresses for kids you can comment in the comment section okay do not forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next tutorial thank you so much for watching bye